So we keep hearing about the threat of communism. It is a great threat. It is such a bad threat. You know, what's a bigger threat? White nationalism. The insurrection that happened on January 6th. Those are bigger threats to our nation. So yes, let's talk about communism, but let's also talk about making sure that we are not letting people get away with the kind of things that happened on January 6th and teaching our kids that it's okay to try and overthrow a democratically elected government. With that, I vote nay. Um, not a big talker. Would you like to explain your vote? Uh, yes, yes, sir. Um, Please proceed. I, I rise to explain my vote. Not a big talker. And, uh, you know, I stood back there and I listened to everybody and uh, I just got irritated. So I came over here and pressed the white button. Is it okay if I say white button? Um, you know, I just recently heard somebody said that uh, white nationalism, or actually communism is not the, the enemy, but white nationalism. So let me tell you something about white nationalism. White nationalism didn't drown 250,000 Vietnamese at the South China Sea. The communists did. White nationalism did not execute 86,000 South Vietnamese at the fall of Saigon. Communists did. White nationalism did not put me here. Communism did. So don't take it lightly. Don't mock me. Don't mock what I go through in life. It's rough. I lost most of my cousins, my family members, due to communism. If we don't stand up to teach communism to our children, we'll lose this country. So, sir, don't mock me. I'm pissed. Anyway, you know what? $12 billion went to education, and no one talks about our children and how they perform. How about we teach history? How about we measure, have some real measure for education, rather than telling us that we're constantly at the bottom. Well, we're constantly at the bottom educationally. Go ahead, give me the thumbs down. Wonderful. Anyway, with that, I vote aye. Mr. Wynn votes aye.